Gamers and game apps, what is going on? My name is Tenek127, and here today I am bringing you guys some more details on the Storm King's Thunder, the newest expansion coming out for Neverwinter on the PlayStation 4, PC, and Xbox One. We have a release date for the PC, which is August 16th, confirmed by the Neverwinter Twitter on, I believe, Thursday, July 21st. It was confirmed either Thursday or or Wednesday, but it is coming out August 16th on PC and a later date for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. I do believe it'll be sometime around the October or November area for PS4 and Xbox One, but that has not yet been confirmed. But anyway, um, there was a developer blog brought up today by the um, by the Neverwinter Twitter, written by um, Andy, aka Strum, Sl Strum Slinger, of course, and it's about the Bryn Shander campaign, which I guess is the main campaign story of the um of the Storm King's Thunder. And I'm just gonna read you guys a little article here, give you all some details, talk about it a little bit, and you know tell you guys what I think and what I get from this little article here. So it says the Storm King's Thunder campaign leads players to the rescue of Bryn Shander, chief settlement of the Ten Towns, a series of remote towns in the frozen waste of Icewind Dale. Bryn Shandler and its environs have fallen victim to a terrible unnatural disaster and requires the skills of hardy adventurers to rescue the townsfolk from catastrophe. The campaign is broken into three parts. Each part unlocks a new wilderness adventure zone teeming with monsters focusing on a different area of the region. Once you have cleared the fierce beast ramp rampaging through Bryn Shander, you proceed through the picturesque town of Lonely Wood beset by trolls and worse. Finally, you must scout the coastline of Cold Run and track down the giants that menace the north. Progressing through the campaign reveals additional secrets about a long lost empire, opens up more additional options in the campaign store, and of course gives you access to new boons, which is a pretty awesome thing. At the top of the campaign track, players can unlock the final part of the story, the dungeon on Fangbreaker Island. This dangerous excursion into the frozen waste is the most challenging content in the new expansion, and by the time you have completed the campaign and uncovered the ten tragedies that be and uncovered the tragedies that befell the ten towns, my apologies, you will be ready to team up to attempt an assault on Fangbreaker Island. I'm going to guess that Fangbreaker Island is an epic dungeon from the way it sounds, so what I'm getting from this is we get three new um three new areas to explore um, I'm gonna guess each area probably has um its own uh, solo solo dungeons and um little I guess raid kind of things of course bosses quest lines and um and stuff like that to do for um for each area and I'm there I I would I do want to say each area may have its own skirmish since you know that's how the game originally works there's a skirmish and you know every every new place you go to but I don't want to confirm that I'm not 100% sure you know because that hasn't been said by the developers themselves so I don't want to you know promise you guys a bunch of new skirmishes and everything but what we do have guaranteed here is new boons hooray meaning you know more goodies for our, for our characters a new a new epic dungeon um, at least I'm going to, to assume that's an epic dungeon, you know, being it's, you know, level 70 plus content. And, um, which, which that means new dungeon probably means new loot and new gear. I'm hoping so. Hopefully, you know, we get a trailer, you know, something, you know, re releasing some more details soon. But, um, that's about it and all the information I have on this expansion right now. So if that, um, helps you guys at all, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And anyway, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. It's your boy, Snack127. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace out.